Hello there, Azer here. Today I wanted to actually provide a guide for some certain players that are probably struggling with the performance of playing Watering Waves or just basically any other 3D game that maybe your GPU and CPU is a little bit underpowered to in order to play them. Today I'm going to provide a guide that would actually help you to get stable frames in Watering Waves even if your computer is like a minimum specification just like what they listed there so how do you actually gain extra frames basically you don't really need to upgrade to an expensive pc to use this frame generation technology at all you can just use like the pasco cards like the gtx 10 1000 series or something or you can even use the rx 500 series cough cards and or even maybe maybe even cards that are actually weaker than those graphics cards, you can probably actually benefit from this frame generation as well. So that's the reason why I wanted to make this video because you are playing watering waves and you wanted to actually play in a very stable frame rate, even if you are multitasking or opening a browser or you are streaming the game. So how do you actually do it? So you have to get this application called Lost Scaling on Steam. It's pretty cheap you can just pay it one time and then the the future updates will be come it'll be delivered for free whenever the developers is actually able to do it and yeah just open it up open your game up set it to window mode maybe on a lower resolution if you wanted to open it up at the resolution where you think the performance is actually decent enough but bump up all the graphic settings like up to advance in like for example in the watering wave okay th this is where the lossless scaling magic happens and you make sure you had selected the lsfg settings and also selected the lsfg 2.2 from the drop down menu on the right side of that and then you have make sure it also has chosen the graphics card that is using to render the new frames so that it actually will work if your PC is a little bit weaker or your GPU is not that strong enough, you can probably take, turn on the performance mode as well. The quality will be a slightly worse, but it would be actually be workable on lower end hardware as well. So use that if you wanted to have a better performance, I guess, if you think um, if you think actually the performance is not exactly on par, I guess. But I for me I usually I just turn it off because I think the LSFG is already doing very well. And then go back to the game, up, press the scale button, it will give you like five seconds. Just press the game window and then, you know, just as long as you are in the game window, you automatically scale the game into your monitor or your computer screen into full screen. By then, you can realize that the game is actually much more smoother because the frame generation is actually active basically how it works is that the game the the application actually detects your game it actually try to generate new frames in order for you keep making the game much more smoother so even if your frame rate is like for example maybe around 40 or 50 it will look like you are still having 60 frames because they already added in extra frames to cover the drop of frames you know so even in like the worst case scenario sex segments like you're fighting a lot of monsters or there's a lot of effects going on even if your frame were to drop your performance is still going to be way better than playing it natively or just playing it on fsr and and just letting the native fsr do the work and unless you have a newer graphics card or if you are playing on like a larger television like a 4k monitor or something on a very low-end hardware this application also allows you to actually scale up your game to reach 4K and stuff like that as well for low-end hardware. So I think this application is extremely uh, useful, especially for people who don't ha haven't have enough uh, money to upgrade to the latest graphics card yet, but you still wanted to game like the latest and greatest AAA games or something like that. You, this application helps me a lot, especially on how playing Helldivers 2 very decently despite you know Helldivers 2 actually requiring at least a 1070 in order to play smoothly but hey I managed to actually play it above decent frame rates using this lost scaling app it will probably actually work alongside with PC handhelds as well 
but the problem is it requires you to actually run it on uh, windows instead and unfortunately unless the developers have is able to build a linux version of it i doubt there is a possibility for linux or macbook users to actually utilize this technology but so far as long as you have a windows pc you can just use this app to you know enjoy playing the game in 60 frames per second in a very very stable way because it will just generate more than 60 all the time so this is how i played bordering wave in more than 60 frames per second on a minimum specification pc even on day one when the performance is still very very choppy so if it actually helps anybody here please leave a like and subscribe and in the future i might make more videos if this one succeeds i guess and that's it sayonara